Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hora Drak and we are playing Stellaris on insane difficulty. Welcome to uh, Relay. We're playing the great old ones. In the last episode we had a lot of, uh, we exchanged uh, research agreements for lots of minerals and energy credits and we colonized this place over here which is frankly an insanely good planet because it has a lot of spaces, it is going to grow very fast. This is a great, great planet. Uh, especially if we can clear those tiles. There are some tile blockers on there that are unnice, let's say. Um, we invested in the infrastructure over there. We want to colonize that place. Oh no, that place over there, Takaram. Because it has a, an ocean world. Uh, this might be our first sector down here, I guess. So we have been rivaled by these guys back. I declared them my rival. To get more influence. The Shoggoths over here are sleeping. You shouldn't really do that. Mm, we don't need energy credits at the moment. What? The system has not been surveyed. That's kind of a bummer. Mm, well, you're already in here, so why not? Why not go for it? We might settle this one, so I'm going to go for that planet first. And I don't have the money for a research station. So never mind, we're going to go for this place. Build a mining station. Other than that, we're building up our fleets. Um, bit of a problem that only our home spaceport can build destroyers. And we also need to upgrade our destroyer designs. What's going on over here? There's, there's the superior, which I don't like. Are we done with field modulation? Yeah, hooray, new power plants. That is great, we really need that. Now, what can we do next? Um, physics lab, I mean, getting a specialized lab, it's never bad, and it's gonna be completed pretty fast. So why not, let's do that, but um, yeah, let's let's upgrade as much of these as many of these things as we can it's quite pricey but i'm gonna go for this one first oh, it doesn't really matter it's only the base tile that will allow us to have some bigger fleets we nearly need we really need more minerals now we have uh Gone past the shortage. This is an insanely good system. The agenda system. We found an alien mural. While conducting surface scans of Delta Pavonis 4, science officer Apollos and the crew of the CTH ship Nigoroth discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Fascinating. Updated. So where is that? Is that over here? Yeah, okay, in the Delta Pavonis system. So let's do that. Translate the alien mur mural. Oh, you, you already moved on. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Mm, yeah, we're gonna do it later. It's not it's not that pertinent at the moment. It's not that, Im that important. I would be very happy if we were be able to, to get up to at least a thousand firepower. I have to redesign those ship designs as well. But I don't think we're losing money by not using the the perfect designs. Okay, completed another mining station. That's good. My construction ship is going to completely, um, completely build out this uh, this system. How's it going up on Gablor? Building something over here. We might be able to afford a research lab for engineering, although we are already quite doing quite well with the engineering over there. 
System survey complete. Anomaly found. Okay, another anomaly. Stop it. By chance, we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this moon. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. Signal contains no message. Could it be a distress transponder? Let's research this. Why not? Oh, I really need a survey ship up here too. A lot of planets to be surveyed. I'm guessing there might be an empire down there somewhere. And if we don't make haste, we won't be able to to get to these things. We don't really need the energy credits right now, but on the other hand, having a stockpile is never is never bad. Does that tile have energy? Yes, it does. Okay. The other two things, um, they want to be upgraded to a specific uh, sort of research lab, which is not what I'm attempting here. System survey complete. Let's build this up to a power plant, definitely. And let's do it for that thing as well. People here are not that happy. They still need slaves. That's true. This tile has been queued for clearing. We need 88. Hmm, I found another ancient life pod. We already um, had this text. I already read it, so I'm not going to go through it again. You can just pause the recording now and read through it. Translate alien mural. We need to kill more space amoebas. Although it doesn't look like a... Like I can do that. I don't have enough amoebas around. Yeah, the big destroyers are in the back. What is that? Another another mining station built. Okay. 67 minerals. That is actually quite good. I'm very happy about that. How is Gablor coming along? Um, it could be better. Although, they just gained another pop. So that's good. Should I upgrade that? No, it's it's already queued. The upgrade for that is already queued. That's fine. What is that? Magrotosh. We do have a cool tile down here. Complete. Indeed, come on. Guys. Uh, we're paying maintenance for that one. How's our growth? Four. Could actually get rid of this thing. Don't really need it. With no minerals um, free on this planet either. Oh well. Yeah, actually, I should I should delete it. Although it is a built-up hydroponics farm. I'm gonna leave it for now. And rely is done with building destroyers. Are we going towards uh, cruisers? Yes, but very slowly. Okay. That's fine, we're done over here. So build me another one. Come on, Shogoths, don't be lazy. Build me another mining station. Looks like we have to colonize these places or all of these places. Continental world, is that a big one? Is that a big continental world? Oh, that is a barren one. Where's the continental world? Frozen. Barren. Am I missing something? No, over here. That is it. Eight. Only eight. That is a, a very tiny world. Oh, well then. I guess I won't bother. Hmm. Something jumped a very far distance. These gas grazers, I guess. So we're so good on energy credits that I think we can afford another colony. I mean, I would have liked to, to make a field into a colony. But I guess we're gonna 
go down here and start a new sector. There's a continental and a tundra world in there. I definitely won't give these guys more space without a fight. Um, need to build up our anomaly fleet more. Found. Okay, we found another anomaly. Picking up life signs coming from somewhere within the interior of this asteroid. This definitely warrants a close investigation. All right, then have a look at it. Uh, we might even take a third science ship to look up here. Maybe, maybe not. Mm. Annoys me that the Petherian stone is in there. Could really do with some. How's Rely coming along? Yeah, the energy credits output is definitely increasing. Don't have any armies on the planet, but that's fine. Let's upgrade this building. And then I think we've upgraded all the buildings in here. How's Magrotosh coming along? Let's upgrade this thing as well. System survey complete. How about Gablor? Uh, let's upgrade this guy. And how's it going over here? Yes. Um, actually, it's, it's kind of dumb <laughs> to do it that way. We we need the frontier clinic, so now the growth should be should be very fast. Um, I wanted to build a spaceport on here, and we already did, so... Oh! The director of the Museum of Exobiology on Rulai has issued a request for the procurement of several live alien specimens. These creatures were spotted on surveyed habitable worlds, but they are difficult to capture. It will require the full resources of a science ship for a lengthy period of time. Alright then, <clears throat> we're gonna put them in a zoo. So let's build a solar, pa solar panel on that one. The yeah, others already have them. Asteroid Fauna. Amazingly, while conducting their survey of ZL1619, the crew of the CTH Gold of Thess picked up several life signs coming from within the asteroid. There appears to be a colony of large, burrowing, warm like lithowars within the rock, which has been riddled with tunnels. These unique life forms have somehow adapted to a life in the coldness of space. So, lithowars, they are eating rocks. These creatures should be studied. So we do have um, society research. Down here in... Where are you? In Warsham. That's a good chance that we get that, get that uh, system. If we establish a colony over here. Which I guess we should do. I mean, this backends to be its own sector, but I don't want to give uh, this world up because it's just amazing. Maybe the other worlds. So that station has been done. Okay then, we're gonna go to Beetlejuice. Get more engineering. It isn't really worth it to build a system here or a station here because we wanna wanna Research settle complete. We want to settle that world anyway. So now we've done quantum theory and can build physics labs. Oh that is great. Research alternatives, but colony development speed is also pretty good. By giving control of the colony ship to an artificial intelligence, the crew and colonists can be suspended in a deep sleep. This basically saves us energy credits when we send out a colony ship. Hmm. Oh, and we have more. We have a UV laser. An updated and more powerful version of their blue predecessors. Accurate and destructive, these weapons are capable of inflicting great damage. Hmm. Hmm. We would get a bonus because our guy is a particles uh, particles guy. So actually, I'm thinking we're gonna go with UV lasers here. We 
We need more physics research, that's for certain. Guess I'm gonna go ahead and, and build more colony ships. There are lots of colonies out there waiting to be colonized. So why wouldn't I? This place might warrant a border post, actually. There's a lot of lot of stuff to be had. What is that? Zilkos swarms are native to the dry canyons. Ah, yeah, okay. So we we do have a couple of places where we want to get creatures. Okay. How can I? How can I see what I want? The um, the high. We're gonna stop tracking that. Um, track these guys on the map so that I see where I have to go. Maybe this thing is already undoable. Yeah, it requires us to cut through two of these empires. I could try to get um, could try to get access, but I don't think this is a thing that we can do. At least not, at least not now. I mean... I could actually go for those that are in my systems. Holy crap, misclicking every time. I wonder why I can't go track all. But oh well. Yeah, lots of things. That need to be that need to be taken. The Nautilus Squadron is still not fully built out. What's happening? Yeah, we we're lacking pops for all the buildings that I that I built. How much food are we getting? We're getting four Anomaly food. Found. That's a lot of surplus, but it's good. I like it. Another anomaly. A small docking hatch leading to the interior of this asteroid is visible at the rim of a small crater on its surface. The hatch was likely concealed once, but it has since been exposed by me micrometeorite impact. Yeah, research that thing, why not? Let's go with normal speed here. We do have enough minerals to queue up another, Construction. another colony ship, so I'm gonna do that. So now we'll miss another colonist in Relay. I guess. Well, maybe not. Our trade treaty with the Rex Thalak hegemony has timed out. And with the Bouvedon Confederacy as well. So the question is, will we be able to do something with these guys again? Insane underscore AI minus 50. So these guys are insane. I'm not sure if I should see that. Differing war philosophy, minus 20. Base, minus 50. Hmm. What can we do with you? Research agreement. Let's see how many minerals you have. <laughs> Better than nothing, I would say. All right then, let's do that. And the other guys over here as well. Blessings upon you, great old ones, comrades. <laughs> so they're they're quite friendly. Insane underscore AI. What? Oh yeah, now I understand. Not the AI is insane, but this is the difficulty level making it more difficult to get um, alliances. All right then, all right then, okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, let's, let's try to trade with them as well. Now oh, we could try to get some Batharian stone, which would allow me to build Batharian power plants. I don't want to though, I want mainly minerals and I want many of them.
as many as they will give me. Okay, so that's fine. Let's confirm that. They're gonna leech off of our research. But getting more minerals is nearly always useful. Diplomatic response, so they accepted that stuff. Um, I guess I should go ahead and upgrade this spaceport so that we can build destroyers level 2 and level 3. Why not? What are you doing? Solar panel network. Yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, and one of my Shoggoths is done. Why didn't you get the physics research? Build the research station. We need physics research. Construction complete. Okay, so we found a derelict shipyard. A large portion of asteroid AT2340 has been hollowed out to allow for the construction of some kind of shipyard. It has been abandoned and exposed to the vacuum of space for centuries. If anything useful remained, it has already been looted by previous explorers. The design of the shipyard itself is unique, however, and much could potentially be learned by its study. We should study its construction. Okay, more engineering. More engineering over here. So we get three engineering and three society research from the system. That is an insane system. Construction complete. I mean, it's not as good as this one, but it'll do. Construction is done. What what finished? Rely and the spaceport has finished its queue. What is going on? Over here on the surface. Oh yeah, I could actually upgrade this to a physics lab. Gonna do that. Are we only missing the society lab? How's it going on Gablor? Still upgrading things. Still building things. What are you... Should... Construction location in queue is one. Oh yeah, we're first building that thing. Hydroponics farm. That's fine, actually. That's totally fine. Um, and Magrotosh, I would like to clear this tile over here. Get rid of it. And that is all the tiles that we can clear. None of the other worlds does have dangerous wildlife. We need kelp and volcano. to fulfill what we want. UV lasers are quite far out. Guess I won't be able to get that anytime soon. Mm. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my ships. That thing is still fine. I think. Um, yeah, we don't have anything better. But um, the uh, Corvette, I'm actually going to give them a blue laser over here, just to make them a bit more versatile. And they also need the ion thrusters. And these guys, I think, well, having more hull points would make them less squishy. Is that what we want for the corvettes? Or do we want them to be more aggressive? Well, the hard points, the additional hard points aren't really going to matter, are they? So let's just let's just pump out the damage. This increases the fire rate. You have range 15, you have range 36. Maybe I should, maybe I should uh, change these guys to blue lasers completely. Because they should be quite fast. They have speed 1.5. Mm. Should I take a shield down? Could take a shield off and then go with another armor. That is possible. 
I mean, I do like the shields, but... Oh, well. Yeah, I guess this is a good design. Okay, and for the destroyer... Where is it? The Dagon? Getting the fire rate on these guys up is also going to be good. I mean, the hull points, they are going to be less squishy. Chance to evade. Well, we want these guys to fire as fast as they can. They have a cooldown of 5.5. .5. So it's going to take, take a lot of seconds off of this. We're still good on power. We need better drives here. Um, so we're just gonna get rid of one of these things and put one more armor on them, like this. That does look like a fairly good design. Good combination of armor and shields. Mm. On the other hand, could get two small, one medium thing. Make these guys a bit more, a bit more versatile. But I think it is, I think it is good that way. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to do that. So these guys are our our heavy damage dealers, and the others are more, more swarm like. Now, twenty five will be upgraded for one hundred and seventy four. Let's let's upgrade that fleet. Um, the other designs also need to be upgraded. I mean, Ship Nigoroth needs better better things over here. <clears throat> Gonna get rid of that. Uh, I think we might go with more armor. Although changing the fusion reactor over here will allow us to put one unit of deflectors in. So that's that's good, I guess. And the construction ship. You also need more speed. And we are having problems. Do we need deflectors on these? I mean, they're gonna run away in any case. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use the capacity for for shields on these on these guys. So, oh well. Yeah, that's fine. Shog off. So they got some basic protection. The colony ship also needs a new drive. Ship does not have enough power. Change that. Put some armor on it as well. Okay, then we got that. Science ship has already been changed. Construction ship has been changed. Colony ship has been changed. And the defense station it doesn't really need any sort of propulsion. So it's fine, I guess. All right. Uh, now we just have to find the time to upgrade our, our units. But uh, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing so you'll never miss an episode. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.